That is Greg Forzani with another Don't Miss the Point of Business video. Um, I had a session the other day with a client and they got a, quite frankly, a major decision in front of them. And, uh, you know, it, it can be scary as a business owner. I, I got a major decision in front of me and what decision do I make? And, you know, <laughs> hindsight's always 20-20, meaning you can look in the past and go, oh, I made the right decision, I made the wrong decision, because you have the facts after the fact. The trick, in my opinion, in making the right decision is uh, two things. Um, well, more than two, but here's here's two things to consider when making big decisions sitting in front of you at a crossroads. Uh, number one is data. And data, not just past data, but data meaning uh, build a, a forecast, a budget. Um, whatever word you want to use, but what's what needs to happen with this decision to get a return on the investment, to make it the right decision. And what that might mean is you got to gather data and build a forecast of all the decision choices in front of you. So the data will tell you which decision's the best path to take. Um, and you got to make the data realistic. You know, it's, it's easy for us to say, oh yeah, well, we'll do this and we'll get that great big result. You got to make the decisions, you got to make the data realistic. So the budget you build for each decision, what are all the key numbers? Obviously link everything back to the profit loss statement. How does it impact my revenue dollars? How does it impact my cost of goods percent, which means gross margin percent on the flip side of that? And how does it impact my expense percent, which will then, what impact will it have on my net profit? Both, and, and think about that forecast in a short, medium, and long-term um, forecast, you know, because in some cases, uh, one decision might be really good for the short-term number uh, with less upside for the long-term number. A different decision might be not as good for the short-term number, but way more upside for the long-term number. So when you build those two paths and you send that forecast out and you go, okay, and, and then you can make a decision which one. You know, maybe the decision where the upside in the long term is amazing, but there's high risk in the short term, and the risk is high enough that you might lose your company or go bankrupt or whatever. So then you may say, mm, that's maybe not a path we want to take, or we're not healthy enough, we don't have enough cash in the bank today to make that decision that way. So data from the past will help you build budgets for the future for each decision, um, which will make the choice much easier and much clearer, right? Um, then the second thing you have to do is is you gotta you gotta put yourself in the shoes of everyone that this decision will impact. Is it your team, your customer, your vendors, uh, your management team, your owners, whoever those people are? Put yourself in the shoes of those people and think about okay, how's this going to impact them? Uh, how do we get them to engage and participate in this decision we're about to make? Meaning, um, if, we, if we're going to uh, bring in a new service, how do we get the customers to buy it? Is it a service that they need? How are we going to communicate it to them? So kind of run off the checklist of put yourself in the shoes of everybody it impacts and how does it impact them? How do you get them to engage? Uh, what's in their best interest? All those kind of things go through that decision making process. And then I'll add a bonus third thing. Third thing to think about is now we got all that, you got to build a plan, meaning you built the plan of the numbers, but behind every number in your plan, there's a what things do we need to put in place and do to make this number happen this way. So this decision is we got to increase our average transaction by 25%. Okay, well, how do we do that? Uh, so what do we got to do for uh, signage? What do we got to do for informing the customer? What do we got to do? What other products or services do we need for that? Um, how do we train the team? Uh, how do we educate the customer? Those kind of things. So just make sure, you know, there's your checklist of things to think about when making those big decisions at a crossroad. And please, 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 I beg of you, don't make it a theoretical decision where it's kind of off the top of your head and based on some economics book or something you read somewhere. Make it practical. 